Okay, I'm going to show you how I'm doing row 48 and any other transition to a new color. So, and the puffs are, the puffs in your new color, in your color B, that's going to be your main color now. And then um, the color you have been using, the color A, um, that's now going to be your contrast color. So the first stitch that you're going to work up, I already did that here, that's going to be in color B, your main color. And so here it is, here it's just going to be the same, but I'm going to show you right here. Okay, so you're just going to make a puff as normal, making sure you cut, carry your yarn. And you're going to go into this chain one space here. Okay, and then still with this main color, you're going to finish off and chain one. Okay, and then what you're going to do is just kind of drop that main color, color B, you're going to drop that back, grab your color A, your contrast color, and then start your puff. Okay, so yarn over, go into that chain one space, and work your puff up. Okay, work it up until you're ready to um, yarn over and pull through all. Okay, so here I have my nine loops on, and then I'm going to grab the color B, your main color from behind. I'm going to grab that. Okay. Sorry, should be easier than this. I don't know what's happening. It's because I'm looking at a camera and not in real life. Okay, so you're going to pull that through. And then before you do your next chain one, you're going to kind of grab this funky little piece in the back. Okay, and then chain one through both of those just so you can kind of carry that up. Okay. And then again, you're going to carry um, your contrast color, your color A. You're going to carry that while you work up a puff in this next color, okay? I must be doing this tighter now that I'm on camera. What this does is create a nice stitch up here of the same color. I've tried it before where I've just switched back and forth between color A and color B, and um, it didn't matter what this top looked like, but then you had some funky um, green pieces popping through when you do the next row. When you start the mess stitch, there's some funky green pieces popping through because up here, this next row is just, we're gonna drop color A and it's going to be color B now for this big long chunk. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. Let me work it up for you one more time. Okay, so I did my chain one, so I'm going to drop that behind and I'm not going to carry it, okay? So here I'm going to make another puff. Try not to do it too tight. Okay, and then I'm going to drop that color A, grab this one again, still managed to grab a piece of that, okay, and then instead of just going to my chain one, I'm going to grab this piece back here and chain one, okay, and then work a puff normally, carrying over the yarn here. I hope that makes sense, oops, that was totally wrong. I hope that makes sense. Um, if you like my video, please give me a thumbs up so I know you liked it. Help other people find the video. You can comment to my channel to get more stitch tutorials. Please leave a comment telling me how you found my pattern in this video. And I would love to get to know you a little bit better. So just, um, yeah, tell me where you found this video. And also tell me your favorite crochet stitch. I would love to get to know you. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.